Hello and welcome to my channel where we discuss various topics on fantasy, historical fiction, and the like. And today we're going to be talking about The Witcher. So the Netflix Geeked Twitter account released a season two featurette confirming that the first episode of season two is going to be the episode where they're adapting The Last Wishes, A Grain of Truth chapter. And that's the chapter where it's focused around Geralt's meeting with the cursed Nivellen. So for those of us who have been following updates on season two, we already knew that they were going to be adapting that short story in season two but now we know that it's going to be in the premiere episode which i'm personally really excited about getting to see that first because that was definitely one of my favorite short stories and i'm also excited to see christopher hibju play nivellin because I really liked him in Game of Thrones. Just to provide you with a brief summary of the chapter in case you haven't read the books or maybe it's been a while since you've read them, Geralt comes across a seemingly abandoned mansion in a remote location. He investigates the area after discovering the nearby remains of a recently murdered man and woman. When he approaches the mansion, he's charged upon by the home's owner, Nivellin, a humanoid monster. His description in the book is, his human form, however, reached no higher than the soiled collar of his tunic, for above it loomed a gigantic, hairy, bear-like head with enormous ears, a pair of wild eyes, and terrifying jaws full of crooked fangs in which a red tongue flickered like flame. Nivellin invites Geralt into his home where they talk, and Geralt quickly learns that Nivellin's appearance, as well as his home, that does what he tells it to do, such as turning on lights, conjuring food and drinks, and opening and closing doors, are the result of a curse placed on him by a priestess. Geralt discovers through observation that Nivellin lives with what he believes at the time to be a Rizulka. When Geralt and Nivellin part ways, Geralt soon returns and kills the what he now has learned is a Bruxa, a form of higher vampire. Nivellin's curse is lifted and he returns back to his original human form. So it looks like this will probably be the final adaptation of the short stories in the show. The showrunner did mention that she thought they lost the ability to adapt any of the short stories with the close of season one, probably because they all took place before Geralt and Ciri met, and since they met at the end of season one, there wouldn't really be a realistic way to adapt any of the short stories without obviously contrived flashbacks. The A Grain of Truth story took place at a different time in the books than it's going to be taking place in the show but I don't think that they're going to be doing that with any of the other short stories. I think they're just going to move on with the main story. For what I hope makes it in the show, I really hope that we get to see the conversation in Nivellin's home between he and Geralt with the food and the drinks. I also hope that we get to see Geralt coming across Verena in the courtyard singing a song as described in the book as a quiet, piercing song which flowed through the veins in a wave of nauseous, overpowering menace. This took place right before they fought in the book, and we got a glimpse of that fight in the teaser trailer as we saw Geralt holding his sword in the courtyard as the bat-like figure flew around him. And then as for what I wouldn't mind getting scrapped, since there will certainly be scenes or moments or dialogue left out, uh, I don't know if they would even do this, but I really wouldn't mind if they omitted a flashback scene of Nivellin committing the crime that gets him cursed in the first place, because I don't need to see that. I don't think any of us do. The only book to show difference that we currently know about is that Ciri will be present for this story in the show, whereas in the book, Geralt and Ciri haven't met yet. I wonder how her involvement will change or how much it will change the story in the show. So feel free to let me know your thoughts or predictions on how you think that this might go down in the show. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up to help support my channel and subscribe to see more videos on fantasy, historical fiction, and the like. And thank you for watching.